Hello, I'm Marcus Bricks with the Cattlefax Closing Bell. Retail beef prices saw a strong increase in the month of August. The average all-fresh retail price totaled $5.81 per pound, which is 25 cents higher than the average in July. Retail beef is now up 17% over 2013 prices and roughly 50% more than in January of 2010. Cattlefax currently estimates August per capita beef supply at 4.43 pounds of beef per U.S. resident. Price at this level corresponds to a percentage point increase in the retail demand index, which shows 6% growth over last year. Other demand analysis currently shows retail pork demand up 6% from last year as well, and broiler demand 1%, down 1%. The average Cattlefax fed steer price in August was $155.79 per hundredweight. After subtracting hide and offal values from the fed price, a ratio of live animal to retail price was calculated. The current ratio shows live cattle at 23.9% of retail, which is on the higher end of the historical range, 2% of the t above the 20-year average. For most of 2014, both feedlot managers and the packer have maintained leverage over the retailer. At this time of the year, the proportion of the dollar going to the feedlot stays stable, while the leverage to the packer shrinks. On September 12th, Cattlefax estimated the packer to be losing an average of $13.42 per hundredweight. This is the first observed negative margin since May and fits closely in line with the seasonal trend of packer profitability. It wouldn't be too surprising to see wholesale beef values trend lower until spurred again by retailers purchasing to meet holiday demand. The fed cattle market was not established by recording time, although the market tone is softer by around $3 per hundredweight. Feeder prices were mostly steady this week, with some areas trading $2 per Calves showed some weakness in the flyweights, but were mostly steady as well. Receipts on young cattle were seasonally higher this week. Slaughter cow values were steady to $3 per hundredweight lower. Box beef prices were lower this week as demand weakened some and buyers moved towards lower priced pork. Corn prices grew cheaper, aided by a stronger U.S. dollar, making the grain less attractive to the much relied on export market. Thanks for watching, and remember to visit cattlefacts.com to become a member and receive the latest market news and analysis. The beef business has never been for the faint of heart. The pressures are real, the risks are high, but the opportunities have never been greater. So how do you sort through it all to decide which way to go? For more than 40 years, Cattlefax has led the way. Become a member at www.cattlefax.com. We're the time-proven leader in research, analysis, and information. Equipped with the industry's most powerful database, our team is impartial, objective, our vision is global, and our focus is you. Cattlefax, the deciding factor.